All right, time to go back to work. So he got a clue to go to the Unseen University. Unseen University was positioned along a large stretch in the River Ankh, and its campus was convoluted enough that it was hard to tell where the university ended and the city began. It would be wrong to say that the people of the city respected the wizards of the university, and it would be wrong to say that they hated them. In fact, all you could really say was that both the citizens and the wizards were glad of the wall that stopped them from having to socialize on a daily basis. Mrs. Foams? Yes, I am she. What do you want? May I come in? No, you may not. I've come about the job. Hmm, is that a fact? Very well, you may enter. But wipe your feet. I won't have the help messing up the carpets. And that carpet now, looks exactly like stone job, floor. Mr. Luton. And yes, I am interested in the job. Well, as the head chambermaid, the decisions about hiring staff falls on my shoulders. Do you have any experience? No, but I'm a fast learner. Well, the pay is two dollars a day. There are no perks. If you want it, it's yours. Can you tell me about Unseen University? It's not the business of help to discuss their employers. Is it dangerous working here? Only I heard that one of the wizards was murdered. Don't let that bother you, Mr. Luton. The affairs of the staff are not our concern. You don't think I'm in any danger? Goodness, no. The odd death is just the natural course of campus politics, I'm afraid. It's a shocking turn of affairs, but we mustn't question it. Dead men's pointy boots and all that. Now, do you want the job or not? I'll take the job. When do I start? You can start now by making the beds. The dorm is through that door. I advise you to leave before the students get back. Why? Boys will be boys, Mr. Luton. And apprentice wizards are the worst kind of boys imaginable. I guess I'd better get to work. Very good. I tried to write on the octorin board with the chalk, but I couldn't see what I was writing. The chalk marks were invisible to my eyes. The students had their very own unlockers to keep their possessions in. This sturdy-looking unlocker seemed in better condition than the others. The only interesting thing I could find in the unlocker was some books. I guess the rumors about the students weren't true. They did do some studying. Hmm. What have we got? Occult Primer, Monster Fun Grimoire, Fulamith, The Theory of Thormic Imponderability, Lost Temples of the Great Nev. Well, when you're gonna go paint the occult, you need some occult primer. I guess the temple of Enuano won't be here. There was nothing in any of the book. The 
only interesting this sturdy given the smell of the unlocker I was grateful it was locked I searched the unlocker but found nothing I wanted to think too hard about Unlike the other unlockers, this one seemed to be levitating a few inches above the ground. Probably one of the students' cantrips that hadn't wore off yet. As for the unlocker's contents, the less said about them, the better. The dorm was full of the jangling sense of the students. But the most surprising thing was the octorin board. As a wolf, I smelt the words on the board. The chalk marks showed up as sparkling traces against the odorless board. It seemed to be a list of subjects the young apprentices were studying. Occult perils of lace making, basic myth and monsters, principles of thormic imponderability, and temples of the great Nev. Under the list of subjects were the words, you must read a chapter on each before the next lecture. Porter had inflexible written all over him in large ironclad letters. What are you doing here? The name's Luton. I'm working for Mrs. Foles. Oh, you're the new bed maker, eh? Well, you can't come any further than this, Luton. Wizards only in the library, you. Yeah. Wizards only? Well, wizards, uh, apprentices, and uh, orangutans. Are you a porter? No. I'm a Bledlow, and there's a difference, all right? What's a Bledlow? We look after the students. Look after them? Just like the watch looks after the city. You throw your weight around and beat them senseless when they do something wrong? Hmm. It's about the size of it, yeah. You don't mess with the lobsters. Lobsters? Just a nickname we've picked up over the years. <laughs> Why? Do you found it? The city police! On a, uh, but a city what? Or whatever the hell it is they call it. They found the blood wolves! You make it sound like you're hunting them down. Of course. All students are guilty of everything. <laughs> I hear the reader of esoteric occultism was murdered. Yep. Old Matham was so full of poison, even the worms wouldn't touch him. He was poisoned? That's right. Right here in the Widdershin's wing of the university. You don't sound concerned. I just keep an eye on the students. The wizards can do what they like to each other. <laughs> Yeah, make sure to do the potty boots thing with them. Who do you think killed Matham? Well, that shouldn't be hard to work out, eh? Just see who fills his shoes. You think it was an internal matter? I don't see why not. No one else has got a reason to be killing wizards, have they, eh? Have you heard the expression, dead men's pointy boots? Of course. What does it mean? Well, towards the upper levels of magic, where the number of positions get few and far between, wizards advance primarily by the untimely death of their bosses. And the pointy boots? Well, the point is, no questions are asked as to the uh, <clears throat> emptying, yeah? of those uh, pointy boots. <laughs> it's like the mirror universe. And 
about ten minutes into this. Somewhere around here's Temple of Anu Anu. I altered one of the subjects on the board, switching the great Nev for Al-Kali. Now all I had to do was see if anyone took the bait. This isn't my main save file. I just do this in case there's like a major screw up and I have to replay the whole section and play a whole two hours of game. Okay, next up is the Merchant's Guild. The Merchant's Guild was the youngest of the Ankh Morpork guilds, founded in self defense by the city's traders and shopkeepers when they realized their role in the grand scheme of things was to be robbed. Robbing fat merchants, it seemed, was a perfectly socially acceptable, even heroic thing to do. Consequently, they weren't the friendliest of guilds either. I wasn't holding out much hope that they'd help me. Evening. Usually is when the sun sets. Is everyone in this city as smart, Alec? Who's he? he used to be a regular at the Mended Drum. He made a reputation as a know-it-all. Used to be? The Mended Drum is a bad place to use the phrase, no, no. Where did they find his body? The Shades. And the Diesel Gate. His kidney down a well in Dolly Sisters, I think. Bits of his innards all over the place. Sounds like he had a lot of guts. Oh boy, a lot of guts. And I just watched that one episode of When They Cry. 2020. Oh. Boy, that was a very gutty episode. About this merchant that was killed. Sorry, I'm not allowed to discuss the incident with outsiders. A guild policy. It wouldn't hurt to tell me the broad details, would it? It would hurt a lot, as they throw me off the roof. No one's going to know. I'd know about hitting the ground. Is it really that important to you? The Merchant's Guild takes its policies very seriously. So it seemed. I had to find a way to exploit that. I hear up at the Unseen University, they talk about dead men's pointy boots. Yes, I've heard of that. Really? Yes, they ask no questions about how a wizard's shoes were emptied. Operate the same policy here, do you? What? Hey, what are you implying? Well, you know, here you are, stuck on the door. Then a merchant gets killed, leaving a vacancy in the hierarchy. I did not kill gaming. But there aren't any witnesses to that, are there? There aren't any witnesses at all. He was alone in the guildhouse when... Oops. Thanks for the information. Uh, wait. Uh, don't tell anyone I said anything. Th they'll lynch me. I'll keep quiet if you tell me everything you know. No, I've already said too much. Well, it was good while it lasted. Now all I had to find out was how Gaiman had been killed. And I had a feeling I wasn't going to learn that here. Well, there's the hint to go somewhere else. So, who would know about murders? Who would know everything there is to know about every murder going on in Act Morpork? Who would say I'd like to see this time? Can I see the cop? Still here, I see. In a sense. I may I'll say something interesting about pointy boots. 
Does dead men's pointy boots mean anything to you? They use it at the Unseen University, do they not? So I understand. It is accurate. The wizards do have pointy boots. It's traditional. I think it has some other meaning. That would explain why I have heard it mentioned in the guilds. Their boots are seldom pointy. That cannibal run too. Wingtips? Barbarians. Get yourself some decent boots. According to the gatekeeper at the Merchant's Guild, nobody witnessed Gaiman stabbing. Gaiman wasn't stabbed? Really? How did he die? He was strangled. Ha! <laughs> Thanks. Ugh! Blast. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about- I already told you that I- Just gotta go back and check the Unseen University, see if that one was a kid. Bucks on temples. I had a feeling I wasn't going to get away with stealing the book. A copy of frescoes and fatal traps of the temples of Alkali miraculously appeared after I changed the Octorin board. I guess the students took their studies more seriously than I thought, but fortunately they still didn't have much idea what it was they were studying most of the time. A copy of frescoes and I guess the... design matched the one in the book for the seal of the temple of Anu Anu at Al Kali. The temple was famed for its intricate door mechanism and the book described how to manipulate the seal to open the temple doors. I used the same method on the pendant and it opened with a faint click. Inside was a small piece of paper with names on it. One name leapt out at me. Therma. I decided to keep the list to myself. There was thermal listed, but according to the the names on the list were Mooncalf, Satrap, Therma, Coom, Gelid, Warb, Foyd, and Kondo. Some I recognized. Some were strangers to me. The question was, what did they have in common? Why did someone have a list of their names, and how did they get it into the pendant? Coom. C-O-O-M-I, God, I wanted where I'd seen that before. It's, uh, it was also a series of, uh, cartoons of dubbed cartoons. Uh, one of my most favorite is the succubus. Well, 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 kumer -san. What is your wish that you have sold your soul for? What acts of total depravity do you want me to perform for you? All hand holding fingers interlaced. I need your help again, Malaclips. They'll all need my help sooner or later. They just don't know it yet. 
I read out the list of names to Mallet Clips, and that sounds familiar look came over his face. Ah, yes. And who and who worshippers are these? The first ones. They're up to something secret, too. Out of Malaclipses ears, soft in the darkness, they scheme. I'm investigating them. Want to know what I find out? As long as it doesn't cost me anything. I don't make rash bargains, Luton. Either I was, that's all there was. This was the other side. This was the other. I'd lost the trip. I'd lost the trip. This was the other side. Oh, I'm supposed to talk to Mooncat first, not Malaclips. I have some more quick ask them. I asked Mooncalf where I asked Moon I asked I wasn't about to reveal that I had the list to Mooncalf. I had a feeling, but perhaps I could use it. Someone told me that you know Therma. Indeed. And who might that have been? It's not important. Is she part of your cult? No. No, she's not. But you know her. No. I've never met her. I see. What about Satrap? Are you intending to bore me with a list of people's names? I haven't time for this tomfoolery. I must preach the gospel of Anuanu. Anu. Thy kingdom coom and all that. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I'd Thy kingdom kum. I should coom. make that the now title. I just needed to sit back and watch what he got up to. Thy kingdom kum. Uh, I, I know I've said it before. I'll say it again. I was talking over Luton. I should make that the title of this video. This was the other side. This. There were two silhouettes at the window. One was definitely Mooncalf. The other looked like a troll. With my sharpened wolf senses, I could hear what Mooncalf was saying to the troll. And I think we may have to do something about it. We will have a meeting of the true believers after this evening's sermon. Sure thing, boss. You want I should go now? No. You keep an eye on Luton if you can. I'll go back to the sanctuary and leave a message for the others. You got it, boss. <laughs> Yeah, what to says talk to Malakops this time. It makes it makes sense now.
I need your help. They... I overheard Mooncalf talking about a meeting of the true believers. I'd really like to know what that was about. It's tough to find out what the cult of Anu Anu is up to. Is there any way I could listen in to one of Mooncalf's sermons? The sermons don't take place here. They hold them in the Inner Sanctum. The Inner Sanctum? It's the center of worship here in the Temple of Small Gods. How come? I mean, there are a vast number of gods and goddesses that the temple has to provide for. Are you telling me they all have to share one room for the services? Absolutely! High priests are always complaining that so-and-so was hogging the sanctum all morning, or that such-and-such -such left hair at the bottom of the holy font. It causes a lot of tension around the temple. Can you get me in there? I'd like to have a look around. Hmm. <laughs> I could arrange to have the sanctum for a while if I told them I had a follower, but I don't. Carlotta says she is that. I am the only. Unless you have seen the. Seen. Do you? How could I not? Surely, Errata is the most worthy of all gods to follow. Either you've just had a miraculous conversion or you're learning to lie. Good. A useful skill in followers of Errata. So if I agree to be your follower, you can get us into the Inner Sanctum? Yes, I can. But you wouldn't really be my follower. The followers of Errata don't follow each other. We don't even follow Errata. We follow our own ways. So why is there a Church of Errata at all? You're learning, Luton. Keep thinking like that and you'll go far in the church. So can you get me into the Inner Sanctum? I can, provided we can find a time when the cult of Anu Anu aren't there. Are Mooncalf's lot in there often? All the time. And that's not all either. He sneaks away after each one. I think they've got a secret sanctuary somewhere. I'd like to find that. Actually, I'd quite like you to find it too. Can't resist a secret, eh? No, I'd just like to get in the way of everything Mooncalf does. Him and his big evangelical budget and hordes of out-of-tune followers singing and enchanting at all hours of the day. He's gonna get his comeuppance, and anything I can do to speed it up suits me fine. So you'll help me? Hmm. Wait here. I'll go and make the arrangements. It took a while. But eventually, Malaclips got me into the inner sanctum. Malaclips stayed by the door to warn me if anyone was coming. The inner sanctum sported a beautiful lectern. The plaque said it was donated to the temple by Mr. Fedeyan of the militant servitors of Ikebana, goddess of topiary. Searching, I discovered there was a cavity in the base of the lectern. The space under the lectern was large enough to fit a whole person inside. Unfortunately, there wasn't much room to move inside. And to my embarrassment, I got stuck. Luton, they're coming. Hide. I'm way ahead of you, Malaclips. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together in the sight of our God, Anu Anu, to speak of our devotion to the Anointed One at this, our time of need. But before today's sermon, I'd like to read from the cult bulletin for a moment. Firstly, there's a jumble sale next Saturday to raise funds to buy a fresh goat to sacrifice. We'd appreciate it if as many cultists as possible could attend. We don't want to have to sacrifice another pigeon. It hardly befits a deity of the illustrious wonder of Anu Anu to be sacrificed another of Mrs. Jeboam's gerbils, either. Yes, I know they breed like flies, but that's not the point. The sermon was one of the most tedious things I'd ever had to listen to. And as if that wasn't bad enough, then the hymns started. Why the gods wanted to listen to such droning monotony was a mystery to me, but I suspected they just liked to make the mortals suffer.
the temptation to sink something sharp into Mooncalf's feet was getting very hard to resist. I was going to have to be careful what I... Yeah, um, in this case you actually have to push an another button to add... Oh, come on! Oh, I gotta go through all that again. <laughs> oh, so there's a design flaw here. Gluten, where are you going? Stop, stop, Gluten! Go talk to Maliklitz, I gotta do it again! You see, um, I was clicking on Gluten like I normally do. To bring up the sub-menu, to bring up the item menu. I tried to follow Mooncalf, but he moved quickly and his scent was rapidly swallowed up by the stench of the Ankh. So let's do this again! As a matter of fact, um, now's a good time to call it quits. <laughs> 